Hey everybody, just wanted to go over something. You all can tell me if I'm going insane. I don't really do much of the iPhone stuff here. That's mostly Chris, David, Camille, mostly David. It's not me. But I noticed something kind of strange. We get a lot of stuff from Mobile Centrix, and we also get some of these flex cables. I don't really use these for actual repairs. We don't offer a lot of iPhone repairs. It's mostly data recovery. You know, like, you know, the phone got tossed in the ocean, and they want their pictures, stuff like that. And if the this flex that has the ambient light sensor on it is bad in some way, it can mess with the phone. So what you would usually have to do is you have to take the ambient light sensor from a donor, I mean, from your original, which is, I guess, now the donor because it's bad, and you put it onto the new one. So it looks like this, see? So you got your solder pads over there, your ambient light sensor is going to be this thingy over here, and it just gets soldered on there. It, it's a pain in the ass, but you know, it's nothing that, nothing that we can't really do. Now, since we don't really use uh, like these parts for repairs, it's primarily for data recovery, it isn't really incredibly important that this be the original one. Because essentially, this piece needs to be there for the phone to not boot loop. Even if there's a knockoff one there, even if the ambient light sensor doesn't work, at the very least, it's not going to cause the phone to boot loop. And when you're looking to get the data off of it, that's all you really care about. So spending a few extra bucks to have this thing already soldered on saves time. You know, it's, so, so we got this thing that supposedly came with the ambient light sensor. And it's very interesting because when you look at it, it wasn't working at all. It was kind of messing things up. And when you take a look at it under the microscope, you can see that this was never actually soldered or made to be soldered. There's actually a bunch of glue uh, under there. So I'm just going to try to turn up my HDR here and my exposure so that you can try see what I'm getting at. And this is going to be difficult to show under, even under the microscope because of lighting, colors, and all that. But if you take a look, I'm ho trying to focus on the fact that there is what appears to be a layer of glue or rosin over the actual solder. And I'm like, what is... So th this shows that when this was delivered with this, that it was impossible for this to have actually been soldered, this ambient light sensor to have been soldered to the flex, because there's this layer over it. Like, you can't... Th this, this, isn't, this would have never been connected. Th there is a clear layer of crap and junk over here. And of course, you could, you could remove this. You could remove this layer of crap, this glue, and then solder on your old ambient light sensor onto this, this flex. But like, w w what's the point of that? I, I really don't understand the concept of it. And so I checked the listing, and it looks like the listing actually changed. I don't have an archive of it. I know, I'm a noob. But now it says, warning soldering required. But I don't remember it saying that when this was um, originally purchased. I'm kind of curious if any of you have had this experience with these flexes, with the 8 and now with the uh, 10 series. It's just kind of strange. You know, there's, there's so much that people will do in this industry to pass off things that are not like good as the real deal, but gluing over something so that it looks like this is soldered there when it's not is just, I don't know, I'm just kind of disappointed. I'm kind of curious what all your experiences have been. With, with this, you know, let me know in the comments down below, and uh, I'll see you next time.